Hello everyone and welcome to Blackout Gaming TV. We're already at the first mid due to some technical problems, but we are here. It's the Nation Cup. With me is Jake. How are you doing, man? Uh, pretty alright. Um, yeah, we have some nice action going on today because we have two teams fighting against each other, of course, as usual. We have Austria uh, in the uh, blue right now and we have the Latvia fighting on the red side. And of course, we're playing on CP, or not actually CP, it's Kof. Of course, it's Kof Viaduct RC4, the newest version, fixed. And yeah, let's get uh, into the action, shall we? It's already been a mid-fight, and uh, looks like uh, uh, Latvia is coming out on top of that one. They have a sniper very far forward here. Oh, he has a nice sightline of the medic here, but the medic nicely dodges away there. Looks like they're going to go in, and uh, we have a uber medigun coming in here, and crit screen 50% for the other medic from uh, Latvia there. It's going to be... Uh, Pretty intense. Yeah, looks like um, Austria is going out of this one exchange on top. Although there is a spike to meddle in there first. A little bit stabs only a Relox, who is their demo man. Uh, thankfully, the whole combo or the lack of the demo man uh, is staying intact. I'm currently moving on the cliffside, uh, hoping to take the top area, but there's already major ATO. Majority of Latvia's combo is a demo spamming the heavy. He's trying to do something. This is a body shot from Mr. Rev, and Mr. Rev gets a nice headshot on... I was... No, that was... Yeah. No? Tommy on their arrows, which is a scout. Just really unusual, because I thought it was Rev shooting the other scout, but never mind them. Uh, Mr. Rev on the soldier, but he might be shooting them in their heads. Maybe. Maybe. There's some stuff happening as usual. I mean, that's TF2. Everything can happen. It looks like, uh, yeah, it's uh, Latvia currently pushing on to the point. They're taking it slowly but steadily. Uh, Merlin is only on 50% Uber, whereas Manny, uh, Austrian, has 100%. And they're going to push in right now because uh, they managed to clear up most of Latvian's uh, players here. And they're taking it slowly as again. Uh, Austria decided to do it because they're not in a hurry. There's a lot of black fan people down as of now, and merely slow the ability is Crit Creek up. Yeah, Manny's maybe, still 100% Uber. Yeah, only the engineer up, and he's doing some Wrangler business, but the Wrangler isn't as strong as he used to be, so this is just a mere annoyance at this point. But oh, look at this Marilyn 100% Crit Creek. He needs to hit those shots. Let's see. Here come popped on the Demon. Adolf Stifler. Gonna come in here and oh, get some nice stickies off. Kills a scout and some other guys, but counter Uber with an invincible demo man. We're able to do some damage. And they're still holding the point, so that crit screen wasn't that effective, and now they're hurting some numbers. Yeah, they're hurting some. It looks like Latvia is losing a little bit more in that exchange than uh, Austria. Austria already getting their respawns back up, and this Relux of his medic trying to keep uh, the enemy combo out of the uh, fray here. Nice headshot on the spy, actually, by. Uh, Mr. Rev, of course, another great matchup between snipers. Tommy versus Mr. Rev, both very capable snipers, uh, doing some work here on this sniper-friendly map. So yeah, we have Tommy. Oh, Tommy's watching. Oh, gets taken out by uh, ambassador shots to the head and then into the body here. Heavy, red heavy comes out on top. Except he didn't. He died, but we took the blue heavy with him. We have uh, some scout exchange on the side here. Red scout comes out on top. Our red team is holding the point. Yeah, but you missed one action where Namiria is the scout who just died at the scout exchange. Got Marilyn, which is gonna be a huge uh, deal in yeah. the next exchange oh. here as Manny slowed down his Uber. That was a drop too. Excuse me. What was the Mar Marilyn there? Namiria is. Uh, yeah, Marilyn. I mean, yeah. he uh, kind of died there. Uh, and of course, another great name uh, coming out of Latvian team. Uh, great sixes medic uh, trying his uh, forces or his uh, skills in Highlander National. It looks like, yeah, red team does not want to wait here. Uh, Latvia just moving in on the point dry. As some call that Manny is slowly building his Uber up here, uh, kind of on the defensive side, but it doesn't matter as they have crit streak there, almost ready to go with Relox. Relox is known for his crit stickies. There goes the first crit sticky, but gets one kill, two kills here, three kills, and there's a nice headshot by a rep, kind Ooh. of saving the situation on last time, headshotting the medic. Wow. Nice work there by the spy to get the gun at the last minute there, but uh, yeah, even though that uh, crit streak was. Uh... Pretty good. I mean, they they didn't get the hold of the point. I mean, they have a forward class here. They have a scout, the heavy, but uh, these are being swarmed right now. Actually, he took out the spy here. Oh, he's gonna have a sandwich. Just kill the spy, so he doesn't have to put the back to his wall. Mini centers versus mini center. Oh, Kritzkrieg coming in here from Latvia. 
Yeah, quite an unfortunate for Atomic, because I think he's playing on the demo man here. Uh, the sticky bounced off of one of the classes and actually oh. didn't hit Whoa. where it was supposed to hit. The Spencer saves his head, his life, he takes out an uh, engineer as well. Yeah, he's just trying to get as much as he can before he goes down. So he went two for one, but he's a heavy. And it looks like uh, Ostra is going to be uh, taking this forward position here. Oh! He misses the stab. The heavy is alive. Oh, but the heavy goes down regardless. Look at how far yeah. forward they are. Kritzkrieg. Oh, man. If that was an Uber, that would have been great. But it was not. It was a Kritzkrieg. And they just swarmed them. They're taken out. Yeah, that's going to definitely work in Latvia's favor here as they have the massive wave of respawns. Only four people up for the blue team. The soldier tries to do something with his black box. Didn't quite manage to do that. There's Latvia capping the point. Only three seconds to go for an Austrian national team here. Uh, but Latvia is bleeding heavily and they need to regroup. They need to heal up before uh, oh, this massive wave. Sandwich. Oh, coming in. Oh, my God. So close. Like he's going to oh, be taken out. No, 17 yet. health. He's still alive, but man, this is sticky bombs and stuff so all over the place. He needs to go up and contest. There's only, you know, 10 seconds left plus the overtime, given the fact they don't cap this. Well, that's a good Latvian pres uh, presence on the point here, but look at Australia. They have a lot of blue coming in. Oh, it goes. Uh, this is it. This, this is, is overtime. The first point here. Oh, this is going to be close. Oh, there's, there's a fire of walking. His way up goes down eventually, and there goes there's the red spy. Team. Oh, I guess the stab. Takes out the heavy. Well, that was uh, the sniper, and it's only the spy on the point here. Here comes the heavy as well as a medic onto the point here. It's only a medic and a sniper with the quick fix of everything, and he gets taken out. And it looks like this is going. What? Another backstab going down. The heavy going down to a huge backstab there. What am I watching here, Jake? What is this? This is just a fest of killing self and other people as well, but looks like. Yeah, it's uh, Austria who's coming out on top of this exchange, which lasted like half a minute. Quite interesting to watch, actually. <laughs> that was wow. That was uh, hoot and holler. Let's take a look at the at the stats here, if we have access to those. Mm, guess not. No, not yet, I suppose. But no, yeah, we're already out of the gates. Uh, people pushing in. Looks like both of them was kind of slow that the meta trying to play it safe. First kill goes to Tommy. Uh, I was on the Clark, who is a scout for a Latvian national team. It looks like, yeah, um, Slavia trying to take it slow, but it may be too slow for Austria here as they're moving in. The nice backstep on the heavy by they dare dross on Kuperl. Uh, it's not going to work well in their favor here as uh, Latvia is just moving in, taking advantage of not both having a heavy. Yeah, and both of them on the Chris Man, he's so weak, so low on health. But oh, here comes the Dome Win. This is prime position. It's going to be Crits versus Crit. It's going to be a kill fest. This is going to be very quickly or not really go anywhere. That's usually how it goes. Nice sandwich throw there from the heavy. They're going to go in. I'm watching Relox. Oh, Crits Krieg versus Crits Krieg. Oh, Relox gets the medic. Manny goes down as well. Numerous goes down. Both medic died for both teams, actually. And another stab by Deidre's taking out the heavy. We see some very good uh, spy play this round. Yeah, and once again, my... Uh Kill feed is kind of checkered because both teams managed to get a few kills out of this, but no one is actually trying to advance uh, as the point still belongs to Latvia here. Um, Manny is going to be back up in 10 seconds. That's going to, of course, going to give Merlin quite a big advantage of the crit streak power. Uh, he's being pressured by the soldier quite low. That black box is giving him a lot of survivability, but looks like no, Alistair doesn't want to wait. They know they're at the disadvantage moving in, losing a heavy in the exchange here. It did not finish the cap. There goes a few classes trying to finish it off. Uh, goes uh, well for them, but they lost quite a few classes. There's a spy. Uh, was a Raptor who tried to do something, uh, but Mr. Rev, who is actually not Mr. Rev, but some of his teammates. Killed him. Oh, here comes yeah. uh, the soldier bombing in. Mr. Reb getting a kill on uh, to. Uh, well, he didn't get the medic, but the medic went down anyway to a crits here from uh, Latvia. Pretty, pretty good for themselves as they are holding this point and uh, taking the advantage. And yeah, that was almost a full wipe there. Only two up for uh, the blue team. Oh, Data's preserving the heavy gets taken out. Not the biggest of surprises when you go Ambassador versus Minigun. <laughs> well, kind of a different uh, difference of firepower, even with the recent nerf, is not as good to have an ambassador versus a, uh, a minigun. But it looks like, yeah, Merlin is slowly building his Uber, actually, Chris Krieg up. He's really stubborn on that, and he knows what he's doing, as his combo is actually quite powerful with Atomic and Adolf Stifler. 
Uh, uh, yeah, trying to uh, keep hold, keep a hold on this point, but they're backing out as the amount of spam coming out of Austria is quite huge, and Austria has decided to move in, dry, it goes a crit streak pop kind of defensively here. Uh, looks like he's not gonna catch anyone off guard, everyone knew he's coming. The they get one kill, yeah, it's one kill, uh, not anything else though. Uh, yeah, basically Austria managed to uh, wait it out quite safely, only losing three players, that's pretty good, and Manny is about to move in with his heavy and the pyro. Is, are they gonna pop this uh, uber that they have here? Uh, there's a spy trying to meddle in the fairs here. No, the scout, there's a spot as well uh, on the medic. Medic jumps in uh, from the heavy, um, from the soldiers, rockets actually, and uh, yeah, they're moving in on the uber. Not getting much, but they're getting the point, which is, I think, they what they wanted here. Yeah, they got the point really late this round. Uh, haven't quite gotten it, but there they go, but they lose their heavy in the process. Uh, while does the other team have their heavy and the moment alive? Also, Relux is also dead, so this is going to be hard to hold without your main power classes here, but uh, they're still holding with very little. They have a spy doing tremendous work here, and here he is. Oh, I think he's been spotted. Yeah, he's just going to go back and uh, close there. But yeah, they definitely know he's there. Oh, nice bomb there by Basti, taking down the sniper. From uh, And yeah. here, Dr. Kakashka trying to uh, cap the point as an engineer, managed almost to get it. They give me his time, a little bit of pressure on the point, because a nice spam coming out of Relax on Austria, but a lot of Austria players aren't bleeding due to that spam coming out of aid of Stifler. Um, yeah, it looks like Latvia is going to take it slowly, nice stab, another stab by um, they are, they are DOS, the, the Red DOS, a spy for Austria. Uh, he's doing some work here, uh, you know, Viaduct is known for being a spy friendly map as well as uh, sniper friendly. Yeah, not very medic friendly though, because medic seems to be going down left and right this match. However, full 100% crit streak for Latvia right now, and uh, they can hold this point uh, pretty easily if they decide to go. It's gonna go with the heavy because the dome isn't uh, near. He's actually oh backstab. Never mind. Heavy's not gonna be able to do anything because he's dead, son. Pretty see of that spy man. Pretty dead. Uh, and yeah, regarding the medics going out left and right, that is probably why they decided to go crit streak because you're gonna go, you're gonna go down anyway, so might as well have something out of it. And something by something, I mean a couple of kills out of the uh, crit uh, sticky launcher. And looks like yeah, Latvia, Latvia managed to uh, equalize this match. It's currently one one on Viaduct. Yeah, and if you look at the stats here, wow, Tommy 14 kills. The rest of the top kills, 12, 10, 9, and 6 are all for the red team. Tommy was like the top fragger here, a sniper doing a lot of work, of course. I think he's being uh, uh, very well protected, so he's allowed to get a lot of frags, which is, you know, what you need as a sniper to to do well on this map, and that's probably, that's probably a good thing, but they didn't win the round. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's you can deal a lot of damage, you can kill a lot, but as long as you have... I mean, you don't have the um, the offensive power, the, the basically the people who cap the point instead of standing around. It's not gonna happen, but I guess Crit Streak pop out of Latvia quite early. Man, he's not quite managed to get his Uber yet, but he's managed to survive, which is gonna help him out. No, he still has a Crit Streak, so basically he has a nice pop out of um, Merlin here, even though he paid for his own life, but looks like it's not gonna work out for them as uh, Austria just said to cap the point anyways. Yeah, this is scary. You know, the longer you wait with the crits, Krieg, the more the chances increase that something will go wrong. So right now they they have the point and they're yeah, there is. They're just waiting for a relax here and they're gonna go into crits, Krieg. Oh, this is nice positioning. Oh, let's see here. Crits, Krieg coming in gets the sniper, and then the medic died. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Medic got killed by Doctor Kaka Six K. Kakashka is uh, Clark. I think once explained me how to read oh. his uh, nickname. Uh, yeah, it looks like Latvia is just bleeding players here, four, four up for Latvia, and the point is being capped by Austria, which is a good call here. Uh, although they paid with Ralox and Kuferl, uh, Demo and Heavy, uh, respectively for Austria, which is gonna severely, mm, severely not actually help them uh, in defending this point. And yeah, as the Mirga is trying to do something, uh, he's on fire and he's gonna do down, and once again, Raptor 00x working on Atomic's bag, stabbing him one yeah, more time. That was some James Bond action there. Not, not yeah, well, that's Oh, Razorback, is that gonna help? <laughs> nope, we're gonna revolver him down nice and easy. And oh, he's gonna get... Oh, barely misses the Medic. The medic wasn't even aware that he was there. Nice crit screen coming in again from uh, Latvia, looking up to clean up a bunch of... Uh, Austrians? Is that what you call them? Yeah. That's correct. Aust Australian? No. Oh, Austri the Austrians. Other. The guys from Austria. That's some Jim Carrey stuff joke, I guess. Austria lads.
Yeah, but yeah, Manny is currently having this massive uber advantage, about 50% over Merlin. Uh, and as long as he keeps his players up, he is gonna keep either keep hold on this point for a little bit longer. And he's ready to pop. There goes the pop on uh, Relux once again. Some sticks being lobbed. Again, two kills actually. Very important kill, which is the medic and the heavy. Uh, so nice pop out of uh, medic here, Manny. Uh, buying a good spot. Oh, time. Gets the stab on a medic and immediately put on fire and died. But that is a nice pick. Of course, going to give Merlin a slight uber advantage, but yeah, he was just like in the just where he needed to be, just at the right time. Very nice uh, spy play there by him, as uh, it looks like uh, Blackface is going to go and take over this point. I'm going to watch the Tommy cam. I feel like he's going to be able to. Oh, he's in a great spot too. And, uh, gets the down devil. That's a nice kill for free. Didn't take any damage, and uh, they don't hold the point though. That's the problem. Yeah, like, that uh, is the problem. Red players are not going to stay on the red point if they own it. As a sniper from that spot, you can't really do all that much. Yeah, I mean, it's Viadex, so you have to make oh, this call. Whoa, oh, the, what <laughs> the? Whoa. Hey, Raptor. <laughs> Chill out with the stabs, man. <laughs> that was a crazy stab. Oh, well, yeah. It, I mean, as I said, it's Viadex, so it's really hard to call whether you should stay on the point, sit behind the point, or go forward and take enemies' cliff. And forward. there goes. Yeah, there goes a crit streak and uh, gets only a scout and uh, spamming some more sticks and pipes, but it's not gonna hit their target as uh, most of the enemy combo is on the other side, man. We should probably look on the left. Uh, should we should probably see? No, we not we're not gonna see Manny's uh, Uber or crit streak anytime soon as he's slowly building his advantage up. But uh, Austria should really start thinking about getting on the point because they're losing and the time. Uh, scale here, even though the whole match is really back to back, is gonna be a stab. Nice stab on the engineer. I just saw that nice, uh, crease peaking, peaking, scry, spy crabbing spot for Raptor, uh, stabbing the engineer, which is uh, always nice. No more mini sentries, they're really annoying, man. Yeah, those are just really annoying. Oh, nice body shot there by uh, the uh, Latvian sniper. Oh, let's, uh, let's take a look at the other sniper, Tommy. He's been doing a lot of work here, misses the uh, demo. Oh, how unfortunate. Stiff player allows allowed to stay alive. Crit screw coming in, counter crits. Manny goes down and uh, yeah, lawnmower heavy with crit screw. That's pretty dangerous. Like yeah, really it's, this point. it's devastating for the enemy team. If you see that heavy with a glowing gun, you should probably run unless you have the shell of your own. And the soldier jump, trying to do something that no atomic is ready to go. He just shot him down. Bast he goes yeah, uh, to the ground. Heavy anti-aircraft gun right there. They're just looking to hold this point. I mean, they also have an uber advantage, so... Uh, Austria is gonna have some uh, trouble pushing this. They do get some nice... Relix does get some nice spam off, though. That's nice, and they have a sniper here as well. On the lower ground. Um, probably should take the high ground. Yeah, he's taking the high ground now. Uh, never mind. Everything to cap the point, and... Uh, oh, here comes the Kritzkrieg! If, if Tommy was on the high ground and shot the demos, like, the Kritzkrieg was rendered ineffective. But yeah, it looks effort, like they didn't get yeah, the point. Yeah, <laughs> um, here Latvia is standing on the point, making sure no one caps it. And, uh, there it goes 2 1 currently on the Viaduct for Latvia. This match is really back to back here. It's a lot of exchanges, a really aggressive play from both teams. And I'm going to watch 8 of Stiffler. Yeah, Stiffler has been the doing some work. scores are pretty even as well. They're not that far apart, except Tommy's like way on top of his team. Jesus, man. Crazy, crazy headshots. Yeah, Rev is not having a good time here, I can tell, as he's been quite focused because he's known to be a good sniper, so uh, Tommy has a little bit more space than uh, Rev, that of course reflects on his uh, Manning, oh my god, Manning goes down, Raptor once again, and taking the cheeky spot and going for the backstab, so no Matic yeah. here for uh, Latvia, and Manning's currently on 95 at Kritzkrieg, uh, so it's yeah, going to pop up. on the heavy. Oh Ooh. yeah, there you go, snipers counters Kritzkrieg pretty heavily. Crit Flare Pyro, not going to be as effective, so I think this might be the turning point, which we see in a lot of, you know, King of the Hill maps, is that they start with Crit's Krieg, and then they slowly move over to uh, Medigun, and then the other team does too, it's pretty normal. Not a guarantee though, because both, both teams, there's also a chance they might just be sticking with Crit's Krieg. But from my experience, from what I've seen, usually one team will switch to uh, Medigun in not too long, I hope. Yeah, I mean, Kritzkrieg is, of course, as I said, on this map is quite standard because medics are used to dying on cough maps as they're really small and spam heavy. 
So as a medic, you don't really can't you can't really protect yourself. As you can see, Maryland's taking some random spam and he pops on native Siffler, hoping to get some nice uh, sticks, and he gets two rounds in the mirror is going down. But not the medic, man. He's 100% crit strings himself. He's gonna be ready to pop any time. But no, there's so many people down for Austria right now. They need to wait for respawns. They're gonna get them faster as uh, Lithuania. As the point isn't theirs, and if your if point isn't yours, they're gonna get faster respawns. Yeah, that's how they're, they're banking a lot works. on this. Where's the sniper? Nowhere near. All right, this is good for them. Oh, nice. Gets Mirlin. Gets Atomic. And oh, gets the pyro as well. That is a nice little bonus. And they've got oh, gets the scout assist there as well. Yeah, nice work by Relox. I I played with Relox a couple of times before, and I know that he really likes those crit streaks, and he knows how to put them into good use. And yeah. of course, team comms are quite important in those. But you know, you're the one pulling the trigger, and that's what Relox does. He just pulls the trigger, and people just die. Yeah, both triggers actually, because there's two. There's the right click <laughs> and his left click. Yeah, how there. does the Medevo man detonate his sticky bombs? I mean, he only has one trigger on his actual sticky bomb launcher. Uh, I don't know. With his mind? I mean, Maybe. With, or he has a, like this all-seeing eye instead of his actual eye. He just sees the sticks on through the, the walls, like with the established resistance. Anyways, like, let's get back to the action. Uh, Merlin just started building his uh, crit trigger up as Manny is already 50%. It's gonna be a quite painful uh, for. Uh, Lithuania here, but they managed to get on the point and get it actually, which is surprising. I don't know why Austria didn't capitalize on that push. Yeah, that's a bit strange. Uh, out of Stifler here in the front. It's a nice scout right there by uh, Clark there. Getting the heavy. He's getting two uh, kills here. Yeah. That's a nice kill for free there. Full cool Chris Krieg yeah. again for uh, blue team. But the, the sniper is watching though. Not Tommy. Oh, well, yeah. Tommy's always watching, but the other sniper. Is that Mr. Rev? Yeah, even though the soldiers tag that was Mr. Rev? Yeah, Mr. Rev is not actually Mr. Rev. It's, uh, the sniper is Mr. Dude, Rev. He's Mr. Rev. Games, man. He's crazy yeah. in games. Oh, oh, but there goes a hash of Merlin by Tommy. As we were speaking about snipers, it's just Dude, insane. I was watching the wrong them. sniper, man. I was watching uh, Mr. <laughs> Rev. He did not get a headshot, but we heard the other headshot happening. Yeah, it's confusing whenever you hear a headshot on the medic and you're like, oh, well, this medic didn't die, so probably the other one died. And as I'm saying that, Manny popped his Kritzkrieg up, managed to clean up a few players or scare most Latvian team away from the point, and that's basically what they want to do, because they're currently one point down. If they lose one more point, they're out on the first map. Yeah, one thing that is really important now for Austria is that they need to chain this Uber and use the Kritzkrieg and maintain their advantage. So they need to be aggressive, that means there's a lot of pressure on Relox because he's like the main crit screen guy. And he needs to reload and they need to kill everything before it's too late. And they have a window, a very small window, but it's not gonna matter. And uh, Adam Stifler might be the one making the place here. Let's see. Yeah. Relox coming yeah. in with stick. Oh, whoa! Yep, that was a drop. Oh my god, I was so... Well placed. Oh, as I said, you can get the calls, but you're the one pulling the trigger. And he pulled the trigger perfectly, placing the stick behind the house on top of the first floor. He gets the medic drop. That is just insane out of Relox. And uh, of course, Manny, who is half of the contribution here, as he's building the Christian giving him. And it goes, uh, of course, a counter offense by uh, Latvia. They're mad. They're really mad. They're going on the point. It goes down again, Maryland, due to Tommy's sniper rifle. He's not finished. He's still looking for more kills. He has an entire combo backing him up. And yeah, Latvia wants to do something. They need to get on the point. Nice headshot by uh, Rev on uh, the engineer Thompson. And yeah, it looks like they're trying to get on the point, Latvia, but they're not quite finishing it yet. Uh, Manny goes down somewhere. We're on the way. I think we're gonna spy the Erdos, uh, gunning him down. But that was nice, nice little chain of that vents here. Yeah, stuff's going down there. Time's ticking away too. Looks like uh, Latvia is gonna be able to cap. No, they're not gonna be able to capture this. There's an enemy heavy there. They need to get him out of the way too. Oh, he's alone. But look at this. He's uh, backed up by Tommy. Didn't get the kill, and his heavy died. It's not his fault though. Yeah, there you go, and yeah, it looks like uh, a lot is just being bullied out of there right now. There's not too much they can do, too much red, and yep, they capture the point, but they do have, uh, you know, the time advantage, but not Uber. Yeah, they look do. This. Marilyn has 90, soon gonna be 100. There you go, yeah, he has 100. Latvia, if Latvia wants to make something happen, they need to actually hurry up, because there's 30 seconds to go, oh! and there's a crit streak! Yeah, but nice Marilyn, sticky oh, goes down, yeah. It's not only Relic, Relic goes down. a sticky meister in this game, wow. 
getting the key classes. He got the demo and he got the heaven. That's all they needed. Let's see, where's Tommy? I feel like Tommy could uh, change this. Let's see. Oh, sees the demo. Uh, and, uh. I uh, guess Latkin like won. Something happened. Yeah, you know, if you don't wait those 90 seconds, then we can't catch the end of the round. But I assume Latvia won as we just ended the game. So, uh, uh, yeah, well played for Austria, though, is this game was really back to back. Both teams were really equal in terms of damage, in terms of kills. Of course, Tommy really outscoring yeah. his team, but, uh, you know, Latvia did not Latvia really sit three. down. Austria score one on the first map. Yeah, looking at the uh, last uh, round logs, uh, Adolf Stifler, of course, is top damaging as the demo man for uh, Latvia. Relox being the second top damage, and Spy, surprisingly, due to all his backstab damage. So definitely uh, two really good players actually on this map How for much Austria. How backstab damage does a backstab do when you're killed? I How think much does it register? I, I, it reg registers five times the health of the person you stab. So no matter how much health the person has, you're gonna deal five times the damage. So I I'm not sure if that's actually well. Of course, the logs uh, yeah, that's should what I mean not count the, logs, the ghost because like damage. if you stab a heavy, he has 450 health. Yeah. Uh, is that does it is 450 health? Or is it that times five damage? I think it's five times times five. Uh, so that makes sense. Not. Yeah, you know it's fair, I suppose. But also, um, you know. I, I'm not sure if logs are counting the ghost damage yeah. that this spy can d do, you know, the damage over the actual health. But I think it in this case didn't because you can see other players like having less damage and spy being the third top damaging person is, is pretty sick. Yeah. Have you ever thought, like, what if they combined the spy and knife, which is, like, you know, ridiculously powerful? I remember uh, seeing... Um... Like a really good uh, Team Fortress 2 uh, crossover video where they had like uh, they were like in World of Warcraft or something, and it was really, it was like fan voiced as well. And it was actually very well made, and they were like in uh, World of Warcraft, and they just realized they could type kill people. I forget what it's called, but basically they ended up in Diablo, and uh, basically uh, the spy went around and backstabbed Diablo, killed him in one hit. So I wonder like if you can like transfer that to something else. What if you put like the knife on a rocket, and the rocket landed at the back of a country, and you backstabbed the entire country? That is some really morbid stuff, and man. And what if that country were one of the countries that were present here because some of the spies were really good? That's some really morbid stuff. Morbid? It's just a rocket with a knife on it. Yeah, it's a rocket with a knife. I, I doubt it would do much apart from, like, shanking someone. You know, it wouldn't really explode. Could, do you think, think. like, if the, if the spy backstabbed uh, the sniper's van that the van would explode? Because it does kill everything in one hit. Mm, but not from the front, only from the back. Yeah, of course it's a back, stupid. What you... <laughs> it's it's the guy, stupid. Stupid? Why are you doing, stupid? All right, let's <laughs> let's go back into the game, shall we? We have, of course, the map, which is a uh, CP gravel pit. Yeah, I don't think anyone wants to be blue. No, I mean. This is one of the maps I really dislike because of how it's made. I think I already uh, yeah. said that a couple of times. Like, yeah. I'm a sniper, and this map has really long sniper line. I, I think this map is great. And no, you know who the snipers you, yeah. shoot? Do you know who Medics. shoots? Yeah, I'm what class do you play? I'm on the other side play? of the rifle, man. Yeah, I'm on the other side of the map. Yeah, map you play Medic. Rifle. So of course you're not going to like it. In fact, yeah. you're not going to like any map where you get killed, I think. Like, I think the map. this map is the one that punishes the death or the drop of a Medic the most. If you manage to drop a medic on the B point, you basically won last as well. Like, you have about four minutes cap time on, on the whole map. Yeah. And we only have one shot at this. I mean, neither of the teams has only one shot because we're only playing one round. Or, uh, one... Yeah, one round on gravel pit, only best of three, uh... Yeah, best of three on... Or up to three points on viaduct. So, uh, yeah, whoever attacks uh, is going to have a really, um... Dangerous job as if they don't get the medic on B, they're gonna have kind of you know slowly work their way up the points. But if you get an, if they get a nice, nice, really nice drop on the B point, they basically got the map in their pockets. So we could easily see like a, a half an hour long match or a 10 minute long match, like yeah. it's the same probability. I wish we would see like more maps like uh, you know Gravel Pit Steel that has control points, attack defend that have more than one control point open at the time. I think that's like really uh, something that's not gone to 
well explored, I think. I mean, we had that, what was the map called? Like, uh, Canal Zone? That had like eight open control points or something? Something ridiculous like that? Yeah, have, but have map, that map was huge as hell. Yeah, that was like, yeah, too much. But I think like, you know, having maps where you are allowed to like make some choices, like, oh, do we attack A or do we attack B? And grab is like, we all, we go A and then we go B every time because A is yeah. really hard to defend if they get B first, you know? So like, it would be nicer to have maps similar to Steel where like you have like some order you have to do, but you always have like this other option, which can be like really like strategic and stuff like that. I think like that's like, cause there's only steel and gravel pit. No other maps really do that. I think uh, Junction does that, but Junction is a map that really hates everybody except the engineers and pyros, you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, and maybe demo men who never go anywhere. Not in life, but like they literally don't leave the where they're camping. <laughs> Yeah, that's why we don't play certain maps in Highlander because some some are just really unplayable for the Highlander mode, and you know it's it's really understandable. And Gravel Pit has been in the map pool for a long time and has been here almost forever, uh, or at least as far as I remember. And uh, just I don't know, people keep coming back to Gravel Pit. I I think it's a really flawed map and it should be reworked and made into a Highlander version where A point is is com made complete different so it gives you kind of a uh, advantage when you defend because currently you have massive sniper sight lines and you have nowhere to hold and you basically can entire team is gonna roll you over well, I don't know it's it's hard to say like I really I'm waiting for a nice pro version of gravel pit but I don't know if that's gonna happen yeah I think it's gonna be pretty hard to do So apparently we're just waiting on a few players to get ready. But yeah, like the main problem is that like the way the sp I think the C point on the spawn compared to A it makes it like so hard to hold. Because uh, like if you look at A, like it has some abilities to defend, but like it's very much disconnected from uh, like the rest of the map. And the B point is just a lot easier to hold with like this back area that you're actually able to go on top of the point while you're not able to on A. I think that's like a big yeah. big, big issue. Like, if you were able to, like, go on top here, maybe, or make this room shorter or something, I don't also, know. Also, there isn't that many uh, good spots for engineers on A point, because you're just yeah. usually going to get spammed out by direct hit soldiers, and simply your sentry won't survive long enough to actually see yeah, There really isn't any good point. spots either on B, it's just the one behind the house. And, and there's just, like, no other spots. If you put it anywhere else, it gets destroyed, so it's like... The A point has zero good spots, and the B point has one good spot. <laughs> yeah. Pretty uh, much how it but works. The C, and point, then C point. C point has some options. I feel. At, at least that. I mean, at least the makers of this map gave us that. I mean, I love the rooftop area behind the point that you can jump on if you're agile enough. And like holding there with the combo as you know heavy and the medic is really good. I mean, there's barely anything that can shoot you down from there if you have calls. And then if something is on the point, you can simply drop down with a heavy and just block it. It's it's really good. And that's probably the only spot you should hold in if you have enough time to get up. But if the enemy team is pressuring you and you can't really get up the tower, or the sniper is watching you from some side, as you know, when you're playing a medic, it's just gonna be a horrible, horrible experience for you, as you're just gonna be shot from every single side. As there's, there isn't actually any points apart from the burst up area um, for you to hold. It's just from my own experience, and it's. it's like, as I said, it's it's one of the maps I really do not enjoy because of its flawed uh, idea of a map. I mean, the, the the idea with the two points and, you know, both of them being able, like, being cap capable. Oh, yeah, that's a good word, capable. Is, um, is good. Not but capable, the map but itself. Capable. capable, yeah. Yeah. It's good, but, you know, the map itself uh, should be reworked, in my opinion, as it's not really... It's not for even, even for the pop play, it's kind of boring to play it as... It's just nowhere to hold. It's just, it's just a wasteland. You have nowhere to actually hold. No actual uh, defenses and actual like walls you can hide behind. You know, it's just you're gonna get shot from across the map, and that's why m snipers here have a really good time. I think this map is great. I don't understand what. No, really. I just sniper my sniper main. I'm just gonna like shoot stuff and across the map. It's easy. Medic and I shoot, and they post angry comments on my profile <laughs> on forums. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Like, I, I agree. Like, I think uh, actually a lot of maps for Team Forest 2 is actually due for like some kind of a work over it, but I don't think they will ever do that because it takes too much effort. 
uh, because you know like uh, the game evolves but the maps don't like we get new unlocks and like suddenly we figure out like new play styles and stuff like that and suddenly the map works pretty differently so that's maybe one of the reasons why some like you're not the only one to dislike this map but here we go ready yeah, so we have one more minute of wasting time, basically, because we know where the engineer is gonna set up. Everyone knows where the engineer is gonna set up. So now we have uh, Austria in the red and Lavi in the blue. So uh, yeah, is, Slavia is, that, is, that is gonna have. Yeah, yeah, it is correct because I think Lavi just. I'm not sure if you know this, but the two country flags are pretty much the, the same. <laughs> I know, it's just, as I said, it's and a different shade of really red. And they're not really tagged up, you know, as their country. There's like dot .at and tf 2 pickup that net. I guess that well, they're I, from Austria. I, we do have a nice set of uh, avatars for the Austrian team, with the exception of Tommy, which actually, uh, you know, he, draw, he drew his own flag on his profile, which is cute. Uh, right. But yeah, it looks like the sentry is a little bit back against the wall. Of course, it's uh, more susceptible to spam. But at the same time, uh, it sees more, so it can shoot stuff off the rooftop or the yeah. left side, the right side. So you know, we'll see how. Oh, the very early aggression coming out! It looks like they're just gonna do what we call a bum rush to be here. They're just gonna go out there, everybody, with the medic and everything. Yep, I actually really like this. Like, push when neither team has an advantage. Look at this! Already getting three kills already, only losing one player. So this, they're coming out on top of this. They put some pack capture time on both points as well. Nice work there. I like this very early aggression coming out of Latvia. Yeah, that early aggression that actually kind of pays off as there's a heavy in the window and a nice headshot follow up by Tommy taking out Maryland. Uh, but we have to also admit that uh, the medic for Austria died as well here. No, he didn't. Actually, he works out his uh, way yeah. of the Uber way. Uber way is the way to go. But yeah, um, they're hauling out quite convincingly here. They managed to uh, do something, I suppose, get a few kills, but did not have enough people to follow up with this and yeah. destroy everyone that they needed to destroy, which was the downfall of this push. Now he's watching the Tommy cam, he's watching the gates. He actually sees the heal beam, so he knows exactly where the medic's at. And he's just gonna charge the shot and gets overheal from his own medic. Protected against counter snipes, and he's not gonna stand in the opening, so he gets shot. Oh! <laughs> he saw the other sniper and immediately unscoped. Yeah, that's kind of scary. Yeah, it's scary, and uh, I'm just gonna check out what Medigun is. Uh, Merlin, he's, he's using a quick fix, he just decided to go all out, and he knows that yeah, he knew this he is now behind. or never. That's yeah, this great... is now or never. Yeah, but they are not going, so it's gonna be never. It looks like. They just well... need to go, they have the quick fix. Okay, it's gonna be quick fix versus Uber. Oh wait, are they gonna jump? Yeah. Are they really gonna jump? Yeah. Oh, he's not doing- I was hoping- Oh, never mind! Oh he, he jumped right God. to his grave. Nice headshot there by Tommy. He, uh, he actually they... predicted that to happen. He just—he was ready, man. He was just watching yeah. that entrance. I would have really oh. liked to see, like, uh, you know, Stifler go for a double sticky jump and take his medic with him on top of the roof and just pop the quick fix up there. I think that would work out really well for them. However, now they're on the point. Soldier's gonna take the upper roof area, and uh, let's see how this pans out here for the uh, cappers here. Oh, Red Heavy gets taken out. Heavy advantage. He's only at 51 health though, if anyone has as much coughs on him, he's dead. And here comes the Pyro, checking all the corners, he knows where he's at, and he coughs on him and he's dead. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff down on uh, B-Point for the red team though, as the uh, Dispenser and the uh, Sentry went down. There is a nice headshot by Mr. Rev, who tagged up as my as my own nickname, I mean, it's it's an homage to me, I think. Yeah, and, he really uh, likes you. Yeah, I assume that, and there goes the pop, uh, quite unfortunate the Soldier. I suppose it was a uh, force pop as man, he's only on half HP, and there's Coos Clark, he tries to get the medic, he gets the medic. Uh, uh is, yeah, of course, of Clark's uh, shutter, scutter gun here, and uh, yeah, it looks like Latvia is going to capitalize on that push, as majority of Austrian team is currently um, waiting for the respawn, watching enemy, like, his friends playing, yeah, and, uh, and uh, yeah, Austria, Latvia doesn't want to wait. Yeah, go ahead. I jump in. Oh my god, yeah, I just want to say that they are not waiting here. They're already on the point on C point with full quick fix with Maryland. It's gonna be a really good push here as you can't be pushed over, but there goes a push oh, over by the wow. spike. So close. Look at all this blue, man. Okay, are the jumpers gonna do anything? Need some hero demo plays here. Coming in, stops it. Ah, oh, not gonna be enough, and wow. Yeah, was, so uh, remember when I said it's gonna be over in about 10 minutes? It's I kind of meant it. 
Well, yeah. Did, I, tell, did yeah. I ever tell you that my favorite number is three? No. Like it is. Uh, no, no, now three. I know. It's three. Yeah, and it's three, yeah. three threes. Actually, it's four so. damn, because of three points. Anyway, oh. what I wanted to say is that offensive by um, uh, by Latvia, I think. Yeah. Yeah. They never stopped attacking. They were attacking yeah, they just constantly. Went and that's something like a lot of teams will just park their medic, you know, in the beginning of spawn on gravel pit and just wait there for whatever and go for play. But like they know, okay, if they don't, if we don't have an advantage, they don't have an advantage. You know, you push on ha no advantage, and you can absolutely do that because you go in, yeah, you die, but then they would quick fix and kind of like they dropped it and stuff like that. But they were like on them constantly, and they won. Pretty good time too. They got to B and C back to back. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was nicely played by Merlin. Of course, Rev kind of redeeming himself after uh, uh, the Viaduct that he played, getting six frags, which was the most of, of this uh, round. And it looks like, yeah, I mean, La Austria decided to be a little what? bit more defensive here, sending Relox to kill himself basically off uh, a sentry, and the heavy was already revved up. So it's not going to work out for them. They should probably take the um, picture. Uh, I mean, you know, the uh, template. I, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. You should really watch merely how he played with his team and just pop straight in on the point I decided to go A and go to standard mode, which is like turtling around. Which is not going to work out because there's three minutes to go and you have to hurry up and you want to win this game. <laughs> yeah, you really have to hurry up and this is the best of one, right? So, if they don't beat this, they lose, don't they? Or is it a best of three? Because the girl. I don't know. I don't think uh, so. No, if they, if they lose this one, they lose this, uh, this round, basically, so with three points. Yeah. yeah, on ETF 12, yeah. So um, they kind of have to win if they want to go through, as uh, currently Austria oh, is second. Private meta, so they're already lost a player. And it, like, if you're the kind of team that don't push when you don't have an advantage, you're going to have troubles pushing at this point, because you're never going to get an advantage here. Well, at least with these guys defending. Here you go, here comes the heavy end. Uber hasn't been popped yet. Where's the sleeper? Oh, he's, I was actually inside. He was not where he needed to be. Spending a lot of research. Took down the sentry. Now they need to get the... Oh, Relux. What? Air shot? Really? From not Mr. Rev? I think you wanted to be uh, caught up at, as your real name because that was an amazing air shot. Jesus Christ, man. And, uh, Such yeah. a shame I missed it. Yeah, and most of the uh, attacking team, the Austrian team, is currently down visiting the spawn as 1 minute 40 to go, so if they want to actually win this, they need to start doing something, because only a scout Numeria is trying to do something. He's the only one brave enough to go into this whole bunch of red. Uh, there's no sentry to be seen, I'm, I think the sentry is already being built on the C point. There's some exchange of rocks going in as well, dying to Mr. Rev, who is actually not Mr. Rev. As uh, a soldier of the black box, and yeah, there's a, there goes the quick fix from Manny. He knows he's, this is it, this is it, this now or never. They're going in, uh, trying to do something, he's engineer building back up. With the level one, is it gonna be enough? Is it gonna be enough? There's a pyro pushing off uh, the medic, not killing the uh, heavy right now. A nice kill by Atomic on the heavy. He goes Manny as well by Mr. Rev, who's not Mr. Rev. There's a nice couple of kills. One minute to go here. Uh, is it oh my god, I don't even know what's going on. The sentry goes down eventually. And uh, who the mini sentry? And so uh, apparently, mini sentry is more superior to this sentry right now, oh, at least. Oh wow. wow. They just hurled themselves at the defenders and they all just splatted instantly. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty much over. Like, looks like the attackers really can't get a hold of this defense here. They just keep, uh, they keep getting disconnected. Oh, no, no, there comes the spy. Yep, there you go. There's a nail in the coffin right there. A stab in the back. Yeah, taunting on the point. They know it's over. It's pretty much GG at this point. And wow, very well played there by, uh, Latvia. Austria did not see that. It's a crazy offense coming now. That was crazy. Yeah, it's it's 15 minutes, uh, 15 minutes, 15 seconds left for the game. So basically now it's all for the logs. Latvia knows that they won and Austria knows they lost, which is really unfortunate for them. So I think in the um, two two round match here, Latvia goes out with six points and Austria goes out with nothing. There you go. Yeah, it was a really good match. It was really back to back. Both teams really uh, equally matched, but uh, and, uh, I think Latvia had more, more uh, like these experienced players that really yeah. worked and out in the way. You ever wonder how you play uh, gravel pit? Just look at what these guys did. I don't, I can't stress enough that teams need to do this. Like when you play on gravel pit, just attack all the time, and like just... don't give your opponents any breathing room because you can do that. 
Like if they're nine and you're nine, if you attack, it's gonna be nine v nine, and uh, maybe you come out on top. If not, you know you can bounce around and maybe drop the quick fix as soon as you drop the gate and somehow still win, with an amazing time. Yeah, but that was a good game. That was very good, very well played by. Uh, yeah, and both both of the teams really showing off, really some great talents. I mean, Tommy's just absolutely dominating the whole Viaduct, which is just insane, and. Uh, yeah, and uh, of course on the other side, Rev really showed what he's worth on Gravel Pit. So I guess uh, maps are also a sniper pref 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 preference thing. Yeah, that's what I meant. Good one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Any last words? I mean, uh, we no, we're done. Uh, we're going to be casting more Highlander games from the Nations Cup. Was this the last group stage? There's still some more group stage, aren't there? Yeah, there's still some. Like, some. I think one more, one last game or one yeah. last like set of maps. Going. And uh, tell us, uh, Jake, what comes after the group stages for anyone who might it not know? It comes playoffs. What is playoffs? Two Our... top seeds out of each oh. group will get their oh. chance at the playoffs. Wow, and we're going to be casting that too, aren't we? Well, maybe yeah, not you, then... but I'm definitely going to be doing that. Maybe you too? <laughs> yeah, sure. Basically, what we're saying is that the games are going to be good, right? It's going to be a pride of the nations. Who's the better Highlander nation? Like, really, who is? It changes every year, maybe. Well, you know, we'll see how it goes. You know, if you have still half a season to go, something like that. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for watching so much. I've been Hajipis. With me has been the lovely Jake, as always. Yeah. So we will see you next time. Goodbye. See you.